to one year government half year government we have a stable government strong government scam free rule leak free government schemes digital governance ease of doing business rise of organized financing and banking nowhere in the world you could see a government opening bank accounts for 420 million people of which 390 million bank accounts are operational with funds in a matter of 6 years it has never happened in the world then clearance of historical baggages article 370 ramjan bhoomi we were saddled with this for 6 decades 7 decades settling the past is a very you know these are all the things which the west sees no country will be respectable unless it keeps its house in order we have been able to do it only in the past 6 7 years we have never been able to do it in the past we always saw kashmir as a problem today we are seeing kashmir as a model how to develop kashmir today you know you must have read about in the newspapers how kashmir tourism has jumped a total change of picture there is no gun trotting terrorists they have all been eliminated and they will continue to be eliminated and pakistan which was always threatening india it has come out with a statement we have learned the lesson from three three wars we had with india do you expect this to happen 10 years back in fact one pakistani writer wrote pakistan has been reduced to a footprint in southeast asia and if it does not correct itself it will be reduced to a footprint in history it is no more we are not hyphenated with pakistan we are matching china whether it is doklam whether it is uh, uh, ladakh or it is arunachal there is no question that you may have economic might you may have military might but on the border you cannot win india has ensured that in a border fight there will be no victor on this side or that side if china attacks it has to attack beyond the borders in which case it will not be a war between only two countries in fact the question came i heard it on the highest authority in 2020 china did say the war may not be limited to the borders you know what was her response you mean to say you will attack bombay i will ensure you there will be no shanghai this is the india we are seeing today and india which doesn't which which will mind others threatening it will answer this is not the india we have seen so a phenomenal growth of physical and digital infra firm action against anarchy and terror we were haunted by terror today a pfi is snuffed out just like that there is not even a whim for a protest and defense preparedness rise of globally accepted national leadership for 3 years consecutively the morning consult has been rating modi as the tallest leader of the world and all other democratic leaders 10 point 12 points 15 points below this is not our assessment it is their assessment and victory in the war against covid this swadeshi vaccine you know we were beggars of vaccine any disease which came from outside we have to go and beg for vaccine they will give us 2 years 3 years later we made the vaccine effective vaccine which has prevented the disease from growing we are almost free i mean today i was seeing our covid numbers is less than 100 but do we talk about it the west knows it they see the rise of india legitimate you are no more dependent on somebody developing in their laboratories and you are going and begging please give me you are exporting you have given vaccine to 100 countries in the world now the external thing i told you about handling of neighbors terror uri and balakot afterwards there was no cross border terror of a magnitude india had to fear about and then i told you about ladakh and amit covid time jai shankar who had come for the tuglak function he told me 
he he told to the audience when they, the chinese thought if they attacked india at the time when covid was raging in india india will not be able to repulse the attack we gave them back it was shocking for china it's a different india and india has a global pharmacy now handling geopolitics we have the traditional ally in russia we have the strategic ally in us <laughs> us can't give us up you know why the liberal democracy in india or uh, in the world is only 13% of world's population more than half the world is under autocracy if we don't stand with the liberal democracies there will be no liberal democracy in the world these guys were rating indian democracy it's not liberal now they say come on come on you are part of us why we are not a liberal democracy we will not be a liberal democracy we should not be a liberal democracy we are a civilizational democracy we recognize all the constituents of the there are caste based parties there are religion based parties there are language based parties these are all completely anti liberalism but we recognize all that we have a functioning democracy we are able to tick together work together speak together travel together grow together it's not a joke nowhere in the world you know when france was formed when when uh, uh, italy was formed less than 2% of these people spoke french language less than 1% of these people spoke italian language they were all constructed as state by the might of the king india evolved because of its civilizational model mahatma gandhi mentions it in hind swaraj you must all read the man who understood india he told the british how india remains one it remains one because of its civilizational values people travel from one end of the country to the other mj akbar wrote the greatest unifier of india was adi shankara do we understand all this this cannot happen by army it cannot be happened by state power it's an evolution that's why every time the west thought india would collapse it never obliged them it's now rising it has shaken the west now special relations with will anyone with modi bjp hindutva rss all the campaign middle eastern countries are our closest allies then pakistan being reduced to footprint in history emergence as a regional leader today nobody can challenges in the region i am not going to upper asia i am talking about down then civilizational strategic ties with israel i mean we have ties with every one of consequence in the world we have special ties with france which is vetoing any attempt of the european union against india see the geopolitical strategies we have made so on the ukraine stand the world was shaken western world by the stand that modi took because it has a history the west kept on expanding the nato russia begged he said we will join the nato please don't expand the nato we are willing to join the european union these were all the appeals that russia was making elshin and all these people went don't expand the cold war is over the americans thought they had won and it is their responsibility and the duty and the obligation to rule the world it was a in fact henry kissinger who knew about geopolitics more than anyone else in the world advised the americans not to go for nato expansion not to go for grabbing uh, ukraine but small some joint secretary wrote a note this is an opportunity for us to rule the world a joint secretary in america wrote a note that was accepted and that landed in america in a mess the world in a mess we knew the background of the ukraine war and so we said in ukraine war you cannot say it is unjust we are not going to say it is just or unjust with the result we are special we have been able to manage our energy crisis so well we have been able to reframe the energy economy of the world if india had not taken that position i don't think middle east countries would have been able to stand up to america 
you must understand how the, the it is like an echo so india is at the center of geopolitics today india as the largest and the powerful country in terms of geography in terms of technology in terms of uh, uh, every other thing which is the world values today we are now a very important factor india as the only democratic alternative to the world if india is not there with the democratic countries i can tell you democratic countries will be reduced to mere islands in the world you may have icbm atom bombs what will you do your geopolitical reach influence will not be there you need india so my feeling is that our time has come in fact i only remember what ratan tata said i am really close with that he said my only regret is i am not 20 years younger because i think that india is going through a very exciting period in its history i also feel i am 74 i don't know whether 